major landforms mountains a mountain is a landform which rises more than 900 meter above the sea level mountains cover about 20% of the total land area of the earth mountains differ in height and shape the highest point of a mountain is called a peak or a summit The height and shape of mountains depend on their age. The Himalayas and the Alps are young mountains. The Aravallis and the Appalachians are very old mountains. Importance of mountains. The slopes of mountains have rich pasture lands and valuable forests. Rivers originating from mountains provide water for irrigation. Mountains act as a barrier against cold and hot winds. Some mountains are rich in minerals. The cool climate in summer attracts many tourists. Mountain rocks are widely used as building materials. Plateaus. A plateau or tableland is a highland with a flat top. It rises abruptly from the surrounding land, so it has steep slopes. Many rivers and streams flow through plateaus. Some plateaus are very large and extend over hundreds of kilometers. Many plateaus have a deep canyons on their surface. The Grand Canyon in the Colorado Plateau is an example. Some other examples of plateau in India are the Deccan Plateau, Tibetan Plateau, Colorado Plateau and Bolivian Plateau. Importance of plateaus. Plateaus have grasslands on which cattle and sheep are reared. Some plateaus are rich in mineral deposits. Plains. A plain is a flat and low-lying land surface. They are also called lowlands. Plains may be formed by deposition of sand and silt by rivers. When the rivers flow down, These materials are deposited on their banks. Plains are formed by these deposits. Some plains are in the interior of continents while some are near the sea coast. Plains are more thickly populated than mountains and plateaus. Importance of plains. Plains have fertile soil which is suitable for agriculture. Most ancient civilizations came up on the banks of rivers on the plains. Most big cities and towns are located in the plains. It is easier to construct roads, railways, aerodromes and canals in the plains. Many large industries such as iron and steel have developed in the plains. Desert. Deserts are land areas that receive very little rainfall. Most deserts are located on the western side of continents and on the leeward side of mountain. These areas have a dry climate. Deserts have very hot days and cold nights, frequent dust storms, hills of sand called sand dunes, little vegetation due to less rainfall. For example, Sahara Desert, Kalahari Desert, Great Sandy Desert, Great Victoria Desert, Thar Desert, Arabian Desert, Atacama Desert, and Patagonian Desert. Rivers. Rivers are natural channels that carry rainwater or water from melted ice and snow from mountain to plains, lakes, and seas. These channels start as streams and join together to form a river. From the place of origin to its mouth. A river passes through three stages: the upper or the young course, the middle or the mature course, the lower or the old course. The upper or the young course. Most rivers originate in the mountains. The speed of the river is very high. The river cuts a deep and narrow channel in the mountains. Some features of the upper course are canyons, waterfalls and rapids. middle or the mature course the middle course of the river begins when it leaves the mountains and enters the plains 
River Ganga, for example, has a meandering course between Allahabad and Varanasi. At this stage, the speed of the water decreases and the river develops loops, which are called meanders. The lower or the old course. In its lower course, the river joins a bigger water body such as a sea. In this course, the speed of the river is very slow. The river deposits the silt it carries near the mouth, forming a triangular-shaped land called delta. The largest delta in the world is formed by the Ganga and the Brahmaputra rivers. Now let's recall. Mountains, plateaus, plains, deserts and rivers are some landforms on the earth's surface. Mountains are the highest landforms. They have peaks. Plateaus are highlands rising from the surrounding areas. They have flat tops. Flat and low-lying land surfaces are called plains. They are thickly populated. Deserts are large areas covered with sand. They receive very little rainfall. A river passes through three stages, upper, middle and lower, before reaching the sea.